everybody and welcome to my channel thrifty gal collectibles today i went to the yard sale and i wanted to show you what i got so we're gonna get right into it here we go first thing first some agate pans very cool they're going to my old factory booth as you can see i have them tagged already the speckled one is a lot nicer than the plain old gray one but eh, somebody will use it for something planter or whatnot so those will go to my old factory booth and next thing is this zing king lingerie washboard uh can you imagine cleaning your lingerie on this i can't so thank god for modern technology and here is the back side and it's got a nice patina. Even the uh, galvanized part is pretty neat. And it's just a small one. So, I don't know. I considered possibly putting this one on eBay as well. I don't know. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. So that was this. Next thing is a pair, and I caught these. These caught my eye, super cool. Greyhound or Great Dane, whatever you think. There's a pair of them. They are Fitz and Floyd. They're marked on the bottom, F and F Japan. And they're about eight inches tall and they are really cool looking. Uh, nice detail, some crazing, and um, no paint wear or chips or cracks. So they're very nice. And on top of that, we've got more Fitz and Floyd. The Fitz and Floyd bunny teapot. I know there's tape on her face to keep her head on so we don't have any accidents because we almost had one just a little bit ago. But there is the spout. And it's really nice, got nice details on it. Ooh, see, I almost lost the head. There it is. Fitz and Floyd, 19, oh no, it just says 30 ounce. And to go with that is a matching creamer and sugar. Whoops, there we go. They're really cute too. And again, these are really nice. There are no chips or cracks and these are dated 1989 so they've been around a while same lady uh, they were downsizing so I picked these up as well um, <laughs> can't pass up the tiki mugs very cool he's brown oh there we go <laughs> and uh, it's marked OMC Japan uh, on the bottom. Apologize for the lighting. I'm in my workroom. <laughs> uh, an American girl. I think it's called Coconut West Highland dog or puppy dog. He's really cute and kind of reminded me of my little dog. I didn't have a Westie, but I had a Lakeland Terrier and she was quite cute. Face kind of reminds me of her. So it was too cute not to let up, not to let, not to leave at the lady's house so i took that one and we have metal kind of heavy nice and weighty owl bookends no marks or or names or anything on them but uh very very harry potter looking there we go oh let's see what else did we get here we got a set of you know what i'm not going to take them all out but you can get the idea those are those nesting boxes they're made out of wood and they kind of have like a the red the green and the black so i'll take these to my old factory booth and set them up down there when i get a chance oh and here this interesting looking thing here if i can get it um a pheasant feather wreath so i'm sure someone will want to do some crafting with that 
and uh, let's see, I believe it was a small, it was a short day. I wasn't out very long uh, today. In fact, there wasn't a whole lot of them around the area. So I only went for maybe an hour and a half, but I got these cool things. And of course the uh, monkey pod Lazy Susan. It's really big and it, it's, it's three tiered. So I hope you enjoyed looking at these things that I got today. Uh, I'll be putting some of this stuff on eBay eventually. I'm getting a little bit behind now because it's summer and we're all out there trying to find things that we can buy to sell. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button if you'd like to see more videos. Have a nice day. See you soon.